Hi, my name is Mike Senna, and I'll show you how to mount your center leg into your R2D2 uh, with very few measurements. So you come over here, this is a simple way to do it. The first thing you're gonna do is cut two blocks of two by four. Now the two by four will just have a hole in it that kind of is around where your pivot hole is. So you can make it bigger, of course. You're gonna send it through your leg, your center leg, and your far leg, of course. Now to double check the height of your center leg, I'm using two three quarter inch. Whatever you use, just make sure you have, it's the same as your outer legs. They should be the same. And you can put that underneath your tip of your center leg in order to Get the, make sure your height's correct. Um, word about the center leg when you're constructing it, without these two curves on there, uh, you wanna make sure you cut this even, and then put your first curve on, and make sure the curve is, uh, take the distance of the curve, of the tip top of the curve, and make sure it's just even all the way on this side, and then glue your other one, your other curve on and make sure it's the same uh, distance from here and even. That will set you up for something else here. So these are the shims right here that I created for myself that fit the height that I need to rest on the curved pieces. And so I want to get the center of this leg and the center of this rod to make sure it lines up. And then make sure your legs are pretty much in the right up and down position according to your body. Uh, once you find out what, these, what the shim height is, usually it's somewhere between one half and three quarters of an inch. I use a one half piece of plywood and a little eighth inch MDF. And I figured out just by trial and error that that's the exact height I need uh, for when I mount this center leg. So just trial and error with this shim and uh, you'll get the proper height that you need. Then all you need to do is then remove the center leg, drill out your holes, and mount that leg onto these rods. You can also take uh, pieces of MDF and glue them in on the sides here when you, after you remove the leg, put these uh, angle irons, uh, mount them on, on top and just glue these pieces in here just to hold everything together when you drill the holes, two holes through here and um, that'll keep everything straight. But that's it. I hope it helps you guys. Not very many measurements, but everything will fit in fine after you do it this way. See ya.